been a year since actor Kit Thompson tragically destroyed his own career by being arrested for beating up his girlfriend, actress Anna Halandoni. So today I'm going to tell a story of what happened to Kit Thompson. Kit Thompson, originally known as Keith San Esteban Thompson, is a former Filipino New Zealander actor, model, and television host. He was born on February 15, 1997, in Angeles, Philippines. His mother is a Filipina and his father is a New Zealander. He stated that his mother and grandmother are his best friends. Furthermore, Kit has a smooth bonding with his father too. Kit also spent his time playing basketball, swimming, frisbee, and riding longboard. He follows the Catholic religion. Still, the details connected to his siblings are under review. He auditioned for TV shows and movies. He worked in short films and went abroad. He stayed in New York City, USA and joined the New York Film Academy for his acting training. Moreover, he directed and acted in the theater plays too. He loved his interactions with different people. He maintained his active status on his Instagram account with 173,000 followers. Kit also signed a contract with the LA Models. Kit said in one interview that he used to have a crush on his high school friend. Later, people believed that Kit had a romantic relationship with Miss Universe 2015, Pia Wurtzbach. But in the show Tonight with Boy and Bunda, he addressed the rumors between him and Pia. He clarified that he doesn't have a past relationship with her. Let's go to that question about you and uh, at ang ating kaibigan Pia Wurtzbach. You know, honestly, I didn't know. Uh, hindi ko alam na may pinagsamahan kayo at magkaibigan kayo. Because Pia is also a good friend of mine. So the question from um, Gigi nags you is that kung naging kayo daw ni Pia Wurtzbach. Hindi. <laughs> but you are good friends. Uh, Tell us a story. I mean, uh, some things happened in New York. She was uh, very supportive, right? Yeah. She, she helped me a lot. Um, both of them, actually. Si Harley and si Pia. Harley, pal paliwanag lang natin sa mga manon. Uh, si Harley is a um, commercial agent ko. Okay. Even though we're managed by different people, we still help mm. each other, you know. We hang out lang me one time and then... Mm, okay. Suddenly, we just... Click. Yeah, we kept hanging, hanging out even more. <laughs> Ang tawag niyo raw sa isa't isa ay the lucky ones, bakit? Yeah, kasi nung dati, wala pa kami sa New York. Uh, si Pia nagre-ready pa lang lumaban for uh, Miss Philippines. Yung time na nanalo siya. Ah, yung time na nanalo na siya sa Binibining Pilipinas. Uh, All right. Kasi kung manalo siya, pupunta siya ng New York. Ako rin, gusto kong mag-aral sa New York. One day, we were all in New York, <laughs> and we were like, wow, we're lucky. <laughs> oh, right? so that's why we came up with the lucky ones. Pero walang pagkakataon that you were ever attracted to Miss Words back. No. Talaga magkaibigan. Uh, in 2021, Kit had a relationship with actress Anna Helen Doni until 2022. Kit later moved back to the Philippines and gained notoriety as an actor by appearing on GMA Network from 2010 to 12 with a show Real Love Presents, Tween Hearts, where he appeared as Keith. Later, during the same year, 2012, he moved to ABS-CBN and became one of the housemates in the reality show Pinoy Big Brother Teen Edition 4 as the kid tangkad of Pampanga, a stitch footer and a self-confessed former playboy. Kit has also joined the top modeling companies of the Philippines, Paris, London, and the USA. After Kit was evicted from the reality show, Pinoy Big Brother Teen Edition 4 as a housemate, he started gaining media presence with his first show, Kahit Pusoy Masugatan, and his appearance on an episode of MMK as Joni. In 2013, Kit made his debut movie appearance as Nico, in a movie Must Be Love, starring Catherine Bernardo and Daniel Padilla. In 2014, he appeared in the Cinemalaya entry movie Hashtag Y as Ping and won the 
Special Citation for Ensemble Acting Award, along with China Ortaleza, Colleen Garcia, Sophie Albert, and Elmo Magalona. In 2018, Kit appeared in Star Cinema's movie The House of Us, also starring Catherine Bernardo and Danielle Padilla. Kit played a role as Darwin in that movie. Kit appeared in more shows like Forevermore, Dolce Amore, and Born for You. In 2019, he appeared in other movies such as Belle Duller as Josh, I Want Original Movie, Momol Nights as Marco, and another show, Sino Amaisala, Mia Culpa as Grego, for which he was awarded Best Supporting Actor in the fourth GEMS Awards. During that same year, he also appeared in an episode of the show, Ipac Labamo as Enzo Valdez. Mademoiselle? Oh Will you marry me? He later appeared in another episode of the show MMK with actress Elise Hosson. After the show Sino Amaisala, Mea Copa ended, he later appeared in another episode of the show MMK as Billy. He also appeared in another movie, Unbreakable, where he played a role as Kiko. In 2020, Kit appeared in another show, Pamelia Co. as James. Pamelia Co. was later cancelled after ABS-CBN ceased its free-to-air broadcast operations on May 5 of that same year due to the cease and desist order issued by the National Telecommunications Commission and solicitor General Jose Calida. Despite the expiration of the ABS-CBN franchise, Kit did not stop working as an actor. He later appeared in the show La Vida Lena starring Erich Gonzalez, where he played a role as Miguel. Wala na Magda. Dahil ngayon, ako na si Lena. Bagong pangalan. Oh, din bago in 2021, he made his official YouTube channel and he only posted two videos there. In 2022, after the show La Vida Lena ended, Kit appeared in another episode of MMK as John Bautista and that's the last time Kit appeared on TV. Okay lang, libre ko naman to. Tsaka diba sabi ko sa'yo, lumipat na ako ng trabaho. Mas malaki yung sweldo ko dun sa electric company. Kit was originally supposed to be in the Pure Gold Channel's first romantic comedy, digital series, Ang Babae sa Likod ng Face Mask, along with actress and beauty pageant title holder, Herlene Boodle. But on March 18, 2022, Kit was arrested for beating up his girlfriend, actress Anna Halandoni, out of jealousy in the hotel room. So he was replaced by actor Joseph Marco. Three days later, Kit was released from jail after he posted a bail and he went on hiatus from his acting career until he returned by appearing in the movie Showroom as Dan. And it turned out to be the last movie he appeared in. On December 1st, 2022, Kit made his first post with his six photos in one post on his Instagram account after his first arrest. His last post was from last April 24, 2023, with his pictures from the Kapistahan Pride March. So that was the story of what happened to Atter Kit Thompson. So what do you all think? Will he ever return to his acting career and appear in more TV shows and movies, or he'll find a regular job. Let me know in the comment section, and please post respectfully. If you or someone you know is a victim of any abuse like Anna Halandoni, please call for help. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again, and stay safe.